easy. Trekimoto here and you join me on a beautiful Monday lunchtime in July. I'm taking a little ride in the countryside and I'm going to go see the uh, pagoda in Reading. This is French Creek State Park, which I rode through on a previous video, and it's just a really nice road. <laughs> Unfortunately, they kind of oil, it's, it's like oil and chip, but it's a little older, so it's sort of bedded in a little bit. It's nice. Weather's quite good actually, it's sort of in the low 70s. So the mesh jacket and the, these perforated gloves I have feel really good. I mean, I just feel great. Slightly warm crotch because of the uh, heat of the engine. I've already been on the road for about 30 minutes. But, uh, but it feels good. bugs around this time of year though so my visor gets covered pretty easily whoa something just kicked up I've got somebody in front of me that's just basically riding their brake the whole way down the hill why would you do that I mean you know engine braking Entering the borough of Birdsboro. The borough of birds, I guess. I've always thought it weird that Americans like to spell spell borrow B R B O R O instead of B O R O U G H, but you know, I guess it's like drive-through being T H R U. Just laziness. Anyway, I'm just going to make my way up to the pagoda. Let's follow along with me. This is one of those situations where I wish that they allowed lane filtering in Pennsylvania. So it seems, you know, all these people are turning right anyway. So I says to Google, I says, Avoid tolls and highways. Well, this sure looks like a highway to me. <laughs> oh well. I don't know what it is about this part of Pennsylvania, but there seem to be an awful lot of Subarus.
looks like we have some squiggities coming up. Welcome to Reading, everybody. Not the most salubrious city in America, but it has its nice bits. I would suggest that uh, Hill Road was very aptly named. Go. There's a sign for the pagoda, that's a good sign, isn't it? Ugh. If only there was some, I don't know, road surfacing that could happen. Oh man, twisties. Well, I'm pretty sure I could have done that better. <laughs> oh dear. And there, ladies and gentlemen, it is. That's quite pretty, really, isn't it? Unfortunate that people should want to leave their trash lying around. It's closed at the moment, uh, but that doesn't mean I can't have a little look around.
quite hazy. I'm going to take off my gear and use my phone to take some pictures. Built in 1908, the Reading Pagoda was intended to be the centrepiece of a luxury Mount Penn resort. When the plans for the resort failed, the structure was donated to the city which it overlooks. The Reading Pagoda has been listed on the National Register of Historic Places since 1972 and is now managed by the Foundation for the Reading Pagoda. The structure houses a small cafe and a gift shop. Japanese cherry trees have been planted around the building and each roof tier is now outlined with red LED lights so they can be clearly seen at night. Installed in its top story is a massive bell that was cast in 1739 and originally hung in a Japanese Buddhist temple just north of Tokyo. Perched on the edge of a cliff 620 feet above Reading, the pagoda is 72 feet tall and anchored to the cliff by 16 tons of bolts. From its location on the south end of Mount Penn, it offers visitors a 30 mile panoramic view of the city and surrounding countryside. head down the other side of the hill maybe it'll be a little less twisty the speed limit's higher as well a lot less hairy going this way down than it was going up. Hmm. Still a few holes in the road there. It's very pretty through here and it's nice and cool as well. cool playground get another view of that cool playground
would like to ride with my visor open more often but I keep getting hit in the face by bugs so just sparingly all right down we go I have never been in the city centre of Reading before I guess you call it downtown you Americans wouldn't you king of cheesy pizza all righty then This is Pennsylvania Route 10 South heading towards Morgantown and ultimately Honeybrook and further. This is a nice road to be on if you ride a motorcycle. I have been down here in my car quite a few times. And this is the first, second time I think I've been on here on a motorcycle, although not this far north. They've got newly resurfaced, but they've only done half of it. Pretty stupid. Anyway, this is a great road, heartily recommended. And I shall show you its highlights. it from me hope you've enjoyed 
I don't know what you make of that pagoda, but I liked it. It was kind of interesting and I like the views over Reading. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Give me a big thumbs up. That'll make me very happy. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. I've been Trekkie Moto. I'll catch you in the next one.